Hello fellas, welcome to episode 2 of the Corsair build. Here I will weather the cockpit, I will attach the remaining footage parts and we will do some assembly. Stay tuned. Let's start with black filter to create some soft shadows around the ribs. This black filter is essentially a heavily diluted black paint which I am shooting at about 0.8 to 1 bar of pressure. The same technique I will apply on the other details. Next I mix lighter version of the base color and I will apply it on the flat areas between the rise details. In this section of the cockpit, a good amount of contrast will make things somewhat more visible and interesting, even though they will be buried deep inside the fuselage. Also, it's a good place to practice and hone your skills. Most of the tools and materials I use you can find in the description. With the same lightened base paint or even lighter I will go over the race details to create highlights. Again the goal is to boost the volume. Now allow me to tell you about my Patreon page. If you choose to support the channel on Patreon for only one dollar a month you will get early access to my videos and you can watch them ads free. Also, I post updates of my current builds every other day. Furthermore, you can have high resolution wallpapers with the finished models. And on top of that you will get a discount for my merchandise. Once again, for only one dollar a month. The link of my Patreon page is in the description. On some places this paint can be used for chipping effects, either with brush or a sponge. The same treatment will be done on the black portion of the cockpit. The next step has a dual purpose. Besides creating a bit of dirtier appearance, the panel line wash will create harder shadows. After a few minutes of drying, the excess wash is easily removed.
now, let's move on to placing the pre-painted photo edge parts where they belong. For this job I use mainly CA glue, but most if not all of the modeling glues can be used. For me the photo edge details are not always worth the effort, but in cases like those cockpit details, they provide nice true to scale appearance, both to the details and also to the needles, marks and symbols. To paint the small details I use water based acrylic paints like Life Core and Vallejo. They are much better suited for the job than my favorite paints for airbrushing from Gunze and Tamiya. A drop of acrylic paint drying retarder gives the paints even better qualities. After blocking the main core I do highlights with lighter color. The good old dry brushing does wonders on the raised details. That's if you pick the right color to get just enough contrast. Recently I discovered the Citadel paints and that their metal cores are awesome to apply with brush. Now all that details that I have put in the first episode will come to life with some careful painting and highlighting. Here I add black wash to enhance the shadows. Using Runefang steel I did some bare metal chipping. Alternatively or additionally, you can use silver watercolor pencil. Creating a good worn leather effect has always been difficult for me. Here I try to achieve that with black base and some grays and browns on the edges.
Now let's go to the instrument panel. After painting some red switches, I did a simple dry brushing of the dashboard. I applied a transparent yellow-orange mix to the backside of the acetate dials that came with the photo edge set. Next, I applied a white paint over the other paint. A few drops of PVA glue are enough to keep the acetate, the photo edge and the bow head together. Since the acetate is glossy enough, I will remove the excess PVA glue from the instrument faces when the glue is dry. A heavily diluted black acrylic paint helps me create the fine shadows layer by layer. Check out the rest of my videos, there is a lot more to be seen. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching till the end, see you next time. Until then, happy modeling.